crack ass of dawn to get in a travel day before some bad weather comes in this afternoon. Thought we'd take advantage of as much time as we can. We want to be making as much travel as possible during the travel days. She's bundled up like a burrito. Right now we're passing this area called the Hen and Chickens. And I guess it's this rock structure, shoaling action going on over here. And there's a shipwreck. And it's showing very light winds right now. Around 11 o'clock, it's gonna be start kicking up from the nose, a little bit southwest. And then 12 more one o'clock more, two o'clock more, three o'clock more, 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 more. So that's why we got up early so we wouldn't be faced with a really strong headwind later on and we can tuck into our anchorage before the wind comes in. Say the conditions have definitely been holding off for us. We're motor sailing right now with our head sail out. We're kind of pointing for land right now. So the option is either go to Rhode Island or continue on to Connecticut. We could be having some weather kick up towards the afternoon today. So as we're rolling into Stonington, Connecticut, it could be getting a little bit dicey out there. How are you feeling, Cappy? Good. What do you want to do? I want to push forward. Push forward, you say? Yeah, I think it'd be a better option. It's still really flat. I think by the time we get there, we might have to put up with like an hour of crap weather. You know, the sea is building, but then we're there, and then we have like way more opportunity to travel in Long Island Sound on days that we wouldn't hear. Much like we expected, it got pretty spicy out there. He got a little bit seasick, and she had to be. It was like, oh, I'm recovering, I'll make it. Yeah, the, the filming stopped <laughs> as soon as it started getting rough out there because uh, I don't want to destroy my expensive camera because the entire cockpit is just getting sprayed down. Here's just a little bit of a, that's all salt water, and that was all hitting my face. <laughs> We're stronger that we made it. Pretty happy to have made it to Connecticut.
just walking through random boat yards and across these train tracks, we will find our food source. To sustenance. I feel nervous. Nervously crossing to sustenance. Sustenance. There it is, we're here. We found it. Slightly yeah. difficult. Barely see anything, you know what I mean? So I might not use it, but I still want to capture it if I can. We just hit up the Zack Attack happy hour. <laughs> we would recommend this place to everyone, especially for their happy hour four to six. If you're in Stonington, Connecticut, Zack's. You have to travel through crazy across the tracks underneath a railroad bridge no, it's through a boat yard. Walking distance <laughs> from the free dinghy dock, so it's easy. Walking distance from a free dinghy dock. <laughs> Looks rugged. Make the trek. Woke up today to an extremely rolly anchorage. Uh, Stonington, Stonington can be kind of rolly. I feel as though if you get some swell from the south, it can come straight in through this inlet right here. Right through this inlet. And the wind switched over a little bit, so we're in circles getting broadsided by these waves. We haven't had the most ideal sleeping conditions here in Stonington, hence why we're staying here, because we'd be traveling elsewise. I guess there's a storm or gale coming through today, and it's gonna blow from the west. I feel as though right now it's just kind of the calm before any sort of winds come through. We've been getting periodic winds, you know. We had aggressive wind from what felt like 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., and then it started getting real rocky. And I've been looking at my wind app and I'm seeing some more wind coming through right now. I think the worst of it's coming up. Keep you updated. these guys doing out here right now? This guy just fell out of his kayak. The guy fell out of his kayak. I feel a little bit bad.
was trying to just not film and grill him over there because I was a little bit worried for that kayaker. Strong, strong winds. Thinking 35, maybe even gusting 40. Take a look for yourself. The water's whipping across the waves. 